and found her in her natural habitat. Don't disturb. Don't disturb the kitty. Uh-oh, we disturbed the kitty. Back them away slowly. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's actually Easter Sunday, so we're here in the house. Uh, just enjoyed some wonderful breakfast. I'm kind of lucky because, you know, my husband can cook, so. I can too, but when he's home, it's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, got my coffee. And we're gonna do some spring cleaning outside today. So today is, today's vlog will be outdoor spring cleaning, I guess, and planting. Um, here, I'll show you guys. I have my Christmas stuff still up, obviously. Um, in case you didn't know, all of those nice fake decorations you can find at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, um, yeah, they get ruined. That looks so bad. Anyway, so that all is coming out today. Got some violas, some pansies, tulips, ranunculus. Um, have to take that hanging basket down. Have to uncover everything. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna prune yet because the forsythia has really just started to open bud. So I try not to prune anything until they're officially blooming. Um, but I already see on some roses that other people have and on my hydrangeas over there, some of the buds are starting to, um, to swell. So it might be time to, to prune to get started. Um, usually I keep my buds on, like the flower heads on for the hydrangeas, but we live in a condo and so the landscaping company came through last fall and chopped see the other one over there maybe chopped my other hydrangeas off so I was not too happy um, you can see all my little tulips I have some um, hyacinths chives daffodils all starting to pop up and let's see if we swing around to the front out here we have uh, the hydrangea tree which I planted last year I'll pop a picture a couple of photos of that to show you uh, kind of what I went through with that so we made a frame, a cold frame for it for the winter because this section of the house tends to get a lot of wind and it is top heavy. It's a lollipop um, version of the hydrangea bush. It's a panicle type um, bud, which you'll see that flower top, whatever you want to call it. I don't speak garden. <laughs> um, and a couple of other things that I planted. You can see some stuff really popping up. So we're going to go outside and clean that up today, remove all of that. And yeah, hopefully it all works out. You can see behind me, uh, we have a bunch of crap. <laughs> all of that, yeah. Um, it's fun to travel for work, but whenever Matt comes home, it's, you know, a lot of stuff for traveling back and forth with all the time. We basically live out of suitcases, so yeah. So that's been, that's been fun, hopefully. Not for too much longer. Are you guys enjoying the sun? Yeah? You want me to come outside, don't you? Yeah, you want me to come outside? And uh, yeah, so the deck is pretty messy right now. I have a couple of things that I'm gonna get done today. Hopefully those baskets need to be cleaned out from all of the winter crap and gonna hopefully fill them with some pansies. I think that's his CO2 tank. Um, he usually fills it with some hard cider and uh, the CO2 makes it sparkling. It's it's really cool, but right now it's empty. Um, we only have it out here when it's really, really cold. So, but yeah. Are you two just gonna hang out here all day? Oh, okay. Enjoy. Must be a nice life, right? Nice life. All right. So, let's Silence, les 
Healthier for it not to be tied, right? What do you mean you don't know? Do I know? Alright, so you want. Oh, is it not cut off all the way? Yeah. Well, you want me to pick up one side, you pick up the other? You gotta be careful because there's tulips and things under here. Okay. Instructor gadget. Oh, you have to like move a little bit. I don't know, it's pretty frozen in there. Oh, yeah. I just, I just take it out one by one. I guess you take, take it off. I can dig holes a little bit. No, I, I, I can pull it out once I get the, I want to take this off. I don't bend the tree or anything. Yeah. Well, then you use the exacto knife.
forgot to hit record again. So third time in a row trying to film this. Um, but yeah, so I just trimmed my hydrangeas. Uh, this one anyway, as you can see. So it's pretty short. It was much taller before. Um, I like to trim everything down quite a bit um, and give it some room to breathe. Any dead branches that you might see, anything that's not really doing so well, lighter, it'll be a lighter color, lighter wood, and healthier stems will be a little bit darker, um, like a red color. And if you even look closer down here, maybe I you can see some growth. So I did trim a couple of them. You see how it's it's alive. Um, but that was just because the branch was coming up and it was crossing over this one. And this one was a little bit stronger, whereas this one, um, the end was a little bit dead. So I chose to cut that one instead. Um, that's what it looked like, if you can see this here. So it looks a little bit more dead um, versus this one, which is like a red tinge color. So those ones are healthier. These ones you want to trim off if you can. Um, but yeah, this is an, uh, what is the word? I will link it down below. This is like that pink and blue hydrangea, um, ever blooming summer, something like that. Um, it grows on new wood and old. So as you can see, I cleaned off some of the debris there and you've got some buds coming up already. So exciting. Um, so this is the time to trim. Usually northeast, um, I say whenever the forsythia is budding or blooming. I did the same thing with my rose bush here too. This is um, a regular bush. I did train it to kind of climb, but it is not a climbing rose bush. Um, that is over there. I have that on the trellis, which I will show a little bit later. But I learned the hard way. Uh, don't trim your climbing roses in the spring. Wait to do that in the fall. But as for everything else, rose bushes, you want to trim in the spring. So again, same thing. I trimmed off any types of um, stems which were crisscrossing over each other or were dead. And I gave it some room to breathe, a little bit of air. That's, that's what you want. That makes them healthy. And I want to give a shout out um, to Garden Answer. Uh, Laura is who I kind of look for for all of my garden inspiration. Um, I don't claim to be a garden expert. I did work in a flower and landscaping company, um, like a private one. So I know quite a bit about how to maintain and take care of plants, but I'm um, still learning. And my husband also did a landscaping job for a number of summers. So we kind of fly by the seat of our pants and see what happens. Uh, sound like my mom, but yeah, I'm gonna continue on from here. So I already see some issues with this rose bush. Um, it's not very healthy. Um, I think it's because last spring I pruned it too early. Like I said, I learned my lesson, but I do see some issues right now. Um, we had some issues with spider mites and all of that. And because this bush is already giving out a lot of fresh growth, I can see that they're starting to already get attacked. So I'm gonna have to come through and I use, um, it's like a natural um, pesticide, but it's like basically garlic uh, spray. So I will link that down below. If any of you have any issues with that, please, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But yeah, this, this rose bush, I'm gonna give it one more year. And if it doesn't really do any better, I might have to replant it someplace else 
it is in a shady spot. I did put it under a tree, which not very smart. So I think I'm going to have to, gonna have to move it. Um, and then I'll just put some ivy here on this trellis. Yeah, so I have this trellis and let's see, yep. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if it'll zoom in there. Yep. Come on. Refigure. Maybe it's too close. Don't know if you can see them, but they're they're starting. They're definitely crawling around. Not good. Not good at all. So I'm gonna have to treat this one. You can try to bat them off, but they usually just end up landing on the ground. And then I have an issue with that later on. So for now, I'll just flick them off and hope that they leave my rose bush alone. I've got another hydrangea over here, which the pros and cons of living in a condo unit. The landscaping company doesn't really know what they're doing here and they might have potentially injured my hydrangea. So I have to come through and clean it, but this doesn't look too good. The stems do not look healthy. Already got things attacking that rose bush over there. Like, like the little green bug things. I can't think of the name right now. They're not Definitely lichen. Beetles? No, they're not lichen. What are they? They're not spider mites. They're something else. Aphids? Aphids, yes. Ta da! Aphids!
this always happens. Why? Poor plants. Take that all off. get anything else done for the day really really tired my back is killing me and I'm hungry so yeah we're gonna eat and uh, I'll probably finish up the rest of everything tomorrow um, so yeah time for some dinner so yeah we decided to get fancy and uh, do a cheese board got some orange fig jelly jam jam is with seeds, not jelly. Red pepper jelly, white wine. Do you approve? Yes, ma'am. Yes. The cook and his element. We've got what? Roasted potatoes. We've got some carrots, carrots. that we're going to roast. And then what else? We have a duckling on the grill. Duckling? That's terrible. It's not a duckling. It is. It's a duckling. You lied. You it's told me it was a duck. Yeah. Adult duck. Oh, you bought it. it the, the, the... I'm an evil person now. You bought it. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. YouTube, don't judge me. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I'll just eat cheese and crackers. That, that's what I'm going to eat okay. for dinner. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. Matt officially uh, left to go back to work. So I'm actually, I woke up earlier. Uh, he leaves relatively early. So I woke up earlier and made him coffee um, and usually make him a breakfast sandwich, but he was like, nope, need to go. <laughs> so um, now I'm just heating up some of the leftover coffee because he usually makes a lot of coffee and then there's a lot left over. So I will just drink it. It's still good. Don't judge me. All you coffee connoisseurs out there. So today we are going to be finishing up. We, I, <laughs> uh, am going to be just working on flower pots outside. I don't know if you can see those. Didn't get a chance to get them done yesterday. Um, yeah, it was really, we started around I want to say 11 o'clock doing stuff around the house after eating breakfast um, and after cleaning up breakfast <laughs> and then basically I got done with everything out front around like 4 30 so came back in um, quickly made some of the appetizers for our dinner because uh, like I said it was Easter Sunday um, 
We usually do go and see my whole family for Easter Sunday. It's kind of like a big deal. Um, we're really close, our whole family, um, extended too, but we haven't been able to see each other. Um, but the other thing is too, like, we decided to stay here because we never really get a holiday to ourselves, um, Matt and I anyway. We're always traveling. Um, we have been now for a number of years, ever since we got married. Um, I am planning on making a video to talk a little bit more about like traveling for work and how, you know, relationship wise, how that has affected us and, you know, how we get around everything and uh, continue to like have a life. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we're gonna finish all of this stuff. Um, and first I'm gonna do a quick little workout because yeah, that needs to get done <laughs> on my list of things to do. By the way, this is my natural texture for my hair. Um, it used to be much more curly when I was young, but obviously now that I've dyed it a number of times, like blonde and bleached it, it's, this is kind of the texture. This is without doing anything to it. I kind of slept on it last night. Um, but yeah, my fringe is a little bit wacky. Um, that's my next video. I plan on doing like a small little tutorial on how I maintain my fringe, my bangs. Um, I was going to grow them out, but I don't know. I still love them. I don't care what anybody says. she's hungry. 
Even though she has tons of dry food downstairs. No, she wants special food. Don't you, Cammie? Yeah, you're hungry? Okay. time for some breakfast it's um, 11 30 right now i usually try to do intermittent fasting but i have not been as good about it um i'm not gonna have this whole thing i'm gonna have just this one um we actually add protein powder to our pancakes or our waffles so just this one waffle will be filling enough um it's nice to have leftover waffles so i'll probably pop this in the toaster um, I'll see how that works. Usually I microwave things, but I'll see if the toaster works, because microwaved pancakes and waffles are just not as good. Oh! Good morning! Did you just decide to wake up? Yeah? Are you hungry too? Are you hungry too? Yes? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, okay. I've got to get your food because it's hidden. It's hidden away from this one who's already done, basically. The only place that she can't jump. All right, here you go. Let's see if she actually eats it. Good girl. You're content. You're all done, right? It's a miracle. She's still eating. Alright, my turn. I'm hungry too. Oh yeah, perfectly crispy. Not burnt. I don't need burnt. I'm gonna put some Activia on here. I know it has tons of sugar, but honestly, it's the only yogurt that really makes me feel like it's actually working. And then I got my real maple syrup. Not as good as the one that my dad makes, but you know, shout out to my dad. My lovely breakfast. All right, so it's a little chilly out. Not really, but so yeah, still wear my pants, but wear my socks too. So real fancy for today. But yeah, we're going to clean out all of this yuckiness. Uh, same thing on this one here. And then down below, that was a garden box, but it's a condo. We're not really supposed to have it. So um, I didn't have time to actually plant them last fall. So I just quickly threw them into the ground with them still in their pots um, just to keep the root system nice and insulated for the winter. And then we had wrapped them with burlap. We just unwrapped them yesterday. But those are, uh, I'm going to pronounce them incorrectly. It's an Arborvitae uh, thuja, uh, green giant. It's like a cypress hybrid. They grow really fast. It'd be great ground or a screen cover for us for this deck and they'll probably grow right up to the top there so it'll be a really nice cover and you just need the two because they they spread out pretty wide that one on the right is already opening up quite a bit so yeah we'll see how that goes and then there's our puny ac unit that probably needs to be <laughs> needs to be updated compared to that one over there next door neighbor so yeah we'll get planting The nice thing about living out here. Boop. I'm gonna clean it. Don't worry.
but can't throw these out. These are painted. Not too good for the environment. it guys um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and be sure to like if you did uh, please subscribe and hit the bell uh, notification so that you know whenever I upload something new um, I will be posting more vlogs like this in the future in terms of uh, planting because we have a lot coming on <laughs> coming up uh, in the future um, but I also plan to do some more uh, videos that aren't specifically vlogs so let me know if, what you guys would like to see and uh, until then, take care. Bye.